to live a life like this, you have to really live with some intent. Extreme athlete Lavelle St. Germain is training for what will be a monumental feat of both physical and mental endurance. I'm going to row across the Atlantic Ocean, the North Atlantic, from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Brest, France, in an ocean rower, uh, solo, uh, unsupported, and uh, I'm doing this as a fundraiser for the Alberta Cancer Foundation. The Alberta Cancer Foundation is uh, the leading uh, cancer specialists that we fund all of the cancer centers across Alberta. Laval is interested in supporting our clinical trials here at Tom Baker Cancer Center. And so all the money that he's raising will be going directly into that fund. While this solo ocean row is a massive undertaking, it's not the first extreme adventure Laval has conquered. This is not my first adventure of this type. It's my first marine adventure, I'll call it. I'm more of a terrestrial guy. I've climbed Mount Everest, uh, climbed all over the world, six of the seven summits, so the highest peak in all the seven continents. And, um, and then some strange trips, like skiing the highest mountain in Iraq, Iran, stuff in the Canadian Arctic. And this seemed like a, uh, a natural extension to me of that adventurous lifestyle, I guess. And I thought, uh, combined with my history as an endurance athlete, I thought it would be a perfect blend of um, the logistical challenge, the physical challenge, and then, of course, the psychological challenge of being alone for up to 100 days at sea. Being the extreme athlete that he is, Lavelle hasn't really had to stray from his training regime in order to prepare for the three-month-long voyage. You know, I've been focusing a little more on upper body exercises versus my um, sort of regular all-round fitness training. I mean, I work out every day, I run, I cycle. Um, so a little bit of um, more specific training for upper body stuff, mainly the rowing motion, although you can't train for an ocean row in a gym because of the fact that the geometry of an ocean boat is so much different. An ocean rower, it's so wide. It's a meter and a half across. Uh, you're in high waves, it's completely different, so it's more of all around conditioning. So strong core, upper body, and just general endurance, so running, hill running, stair running, that type of thing. Laval admits the Confront Cancer Ocean Row will be frightening and lonely at times, and he likens that to what the 43 Albertans who are diagnosed with cancer every day experience. Ocean rowing to me is the ultimate analogy or the ultimate way to express, I think, what cancer patients go through. I'm planning, I'm training, I'm educating myself for an ocean row where I shove off from the dock in Halifax for 100 days of stormy seas and nights and loneliness and, and fear and pain, but a cancer patient um, would be literally brought to the dock and shoved off in a boat, not even knowing that they were about to be shoved off in a boat. And I think it's a good uh, symbol of the struggle that uh, I think a cancer patient goes through, uh, although theirs is far worse, obviously. This is who Laval is. He's uh, somebody that faces his challenges head on, and we kind of relate it to how our cancer patients kind of face their trials um, of going through cancer treatments. They're conquering them head on um, with bravery and determination and so Laval embodies a lot of what we see in our patients. You can follow Laval on his journey across the Atlantic at LavalleStGermain.com or ConfrontCancerOceanRow.com. For Go in Calgary, I'm Karen Coppins.